Well, you've got questions. He's got answers. Thank goodness. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello's email box is always full. And today he's got some answers and we can all really benefit from these answers. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you. Yeah, you know, I get questions from consumers all across the country and I really do find that the best way for all of us to do a little bit better is to learn from what other people yeah. inquire about. So question number one, go ahead and read it. For yeah, me. okay. I was at the car dealership and they told me my current rate was 15%. I thought that sounded high. They insisted they called my bank and asked and when they offered me a new car at 8%, I jumped on it. Well, it turns out my current rate is 5, not 15. <laughs> How do I get them to change it after the well, fact? Well, Basically, this guy yeah. did 8% and he could have gotten a lot lower. Well, so supposedly, at least he was paying a lot lower to begin with. You know, this problem is a simple one that could have been avoided with just one phone call to the bank. Look, folks, the first thing I want you to remember in any business transaction, buyer or seller, is that you are in control of your decisions. I know you're emotional. I know you're excited. You want the new car. But if you have a question, especially one about money, take a minute to do your own research. If you need to ask to put the transaction on hold until you can get all the facts. Any reputable car dealership will honor the same deal the next day. If they don't, maybe you don't want to be doing business there in the first place. Now, also noteworthy, many dealerships will actually record the conversations that happen in their finance office. So oh. if in fact this was the case, and if in fact you were misled, it may be worth a call to the general sales manager and ask if they've got that. Uh, like they're going to find it. They'll be like, oh yeah, we, mm, you know, I'll we, tell we you probably what, deleted if, that. If a, <laughs> if a general sales manager of any reputable car dealership finds that that did happen, I bet you they will make sure that they put an end to it immediately. Yeah, All right. finding it might be hard. Maybe. Next up, uh, okay. question number two. Yes. Steve, I'm trying to simplify my life, aren't we all? <laughs> and uh, get rid of excesses, including computers and phones I've been dragging every time I move. Yeah. How do I dispose of them properly to make sure my personal information is really really, really erased. Yeah, absolutely. So I posted a link on our station website and of course my Facebook fan page to the EPA. Not only will they tell you how to make sure that you absolutely wipe your hard drive clean, but they also will tell you exactly where you can go to properly recycle or dispose of any old electronics. Now be sure to have any information or files that you want to keep saved to some sort of hard drive because once they are erased, they are gone forever. And finally, question number three. Okay, we bought a product from a door-to-door -door salesman after he demonstrated it. Now, after trying it ourselves, it doesn't seem to perform as expected. Now what? All right, there is actually protection here for you in place from the FTC. They have something called the cooling off rule. If for any reason, or actually even for no reason at all, you decide, I regret a purchase I made at my home, my workplace, or any temporary sales location, like the state fair or convention center, you have three days to cancel the sale. Now, by law, the seller must tell you about the right, give you two copies of the cancellation form, and a copy of your contract or receipt. There are some exceptions. Sales less than $25 made at your home are exempt. Sales less than $130 made at a temporary location are exempt. Any arts and crafts uh, at fairs or vehicles, certain, certain vehicles sold in certain situations are qualified for an exemption. Now, if you do cancel the purchase, the seller has 10 days to give you your money back and they have 20 days to either come pick up whatever it is they sold you at your house or reimburse you for the return shipping. So even when they re refund your money and they say, okay, well now ship it back, yeah. they are actually liable for the shipping cost as well. If right. you've got a question you want to get answered, you can sign up right now on my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash save me Steve. That's also where you'll find a link to the resources I mentioned this morning. Terrific. My solution is the do not, no soliciting sign on the front door. <laughs> I just don't a answer large the doorbell. Large dog in the yard. Gets them every time. <laughs> 758.